my amazing audience seems to really enjoy when I travel around and see new sites and eat great food. So I decided to create a new mini series about traveling from Canada to Jacksonville, Florida. We'll start in Buffalo, New York, fly to Fort Lauderdale Hollywood Airport, spend a day and a half in Jacksonville, then fly to Charlotte Douglas International Airport in North Carolina, and then arriving close to midnight back in Buffalo, I'll be stealth camping in the parking lot. So we're gonna start this awesome series by driving over the border from Ontario, Canada to Buffalo, New York to eat a huge steak and stealth camp at Texas Roadhouse in Cheektowaga. So if this sounds like an exciting video that you wanna watch, then grab something to eat, sit back, and enjoy this video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Texas Roadhouse. We are going to be stealth camping in this parking lot, but first, we need to get ourselves some Texas food in Buffalo at Texas Roadhouse. Let me know in the comments below if you've eaten at Texas Roadhouse and is it any good? First step, find a good parking spot. I think I just nailed one. There's some trees, you gotta be careful, scratch the paint. Again, this is a very long rig, it's 22 feet long. So I need to straddle two parking spots. <clears throat> Nobody is 100% gonna be needing this spot because uh, there's a ton of parking, so. Well, just went in and uh, it's about an hour and a half wait. It is 8.03 Saturday night, February 3rd. And uh, so I'm just gonna kick back, relax in here for a bit. Uh, getting here was no problem. That was the first time I've ever hit the Fort Erie crossing and there was no cars at the customs. All the lanes were completely empty and uh, by the time I pulled up and gave her my Nexus card, uh, there were all of a sudden, all of a sudden tons of cars pulling up. So I just, it was super lucky to get across the border as fast as I did. But I got here a little bit early and uh, it's gonna take about an hour and a half, we'll see. So they got my number and we'll just wait and I look forward to all those stakes that I just saw in that little window there. I also forgot to inform a bunch of you guys, uh, I just finished a 72 hour fast. I started it on Wednesday at seven o'clock PM. Uh, Thursday, I the only thing I had was water all day. I had a couple of coffees in the morning and then I had about a, maybe two cups of bone broth at dinner time to help ease my way into the next day and a half. Uh, so today is, uh, so that got me through Friday. Today is Saturday. Like I said, it's just after eight. Uh, when I crossed the border, it was probably around seven o'clock. And so I started drinking uh, more bone broth that I brought in uh, one of those Yeti things. And uh, that really helped me get to here. And uh, then I had like three eggs. So you kind of start with uh, a little bit of bone broth. It gets your body kind of okay. We're reintroducing food into the system. And then you wait about 15, 20 minutes. Some people like to wait a little bit longer. Uh, and then I had uh, three boiled eggs. And so I'm really glad that the Texas Steakhouse is as busy as it is. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping that they uh, don't let me in until like nine. It'll probably be less packed too. And I'll be able to videotape uh, in there a little bit easier. They are playing loud music. So I'm gonna try and wear a mic and uh, try to keep the sound out as much as possible that that uh, Texas uh, country music that they're playing in there. So I always have to fly by the seat of my pants when I'm going into a restaurant to eat because I have no idea where they're gonna sit me. I have no idea how loud the music's gonna be until I am in there. So uh, wish me luck. I'll get my mic and everything all set up and ready to go. And then I'll wait for my phone call. Got all my stuff packed to uh, head to Florida. Got all my camera gear, got my Jackery for possibly heat tonight. Uh, I got my other jackery here and that will plug in my electric blankets plus we have the two batteries in-house uh, and that's what the system's for. I'll be turning that on later but uh, in just in case the batteries aren't good when I come back from Florida I've got an emergency uh, minus nine sleeping bag which I might have to use. It's about 9.9 .9 degrees Celsius in the van which is awesome and uh, outside it is zero degrees so I'll probably be fine tonight with just the electric blanket, uh, no worries. Uh, if it was minus one or, or colder, then I would be a little bit worried, especially when I come back. But uh, it is now, as you may have saw on my watch, 
it is 8.30. Uh, they probably aren't gonna accept me until nine, but I'd rather be a little bit closer to the front door. As you saw, maybe on the way out, there was a ton of people in there. I haven't seen a restaurant packed like that in a while. So uh, I don't wanna miss my opportunity. Let's shut the lights off and uh, look forward to our steak. Oh, can you smell that? Can you? Hi, how are you? All right, how are you doing? Thank you. Oh, right this way. Sure. Have you been here before? Never. All right, well, welcome in. We have a lot of good things. I mentioned the fall off the bone ridge. They fall right off the bone. Okay. All of our sites are hand-cut in-house. Fantastic. Right, got a lot of good things. All of, our, all of our sites are also made from scratch as well. Okay? Thank you very much. Joel, will be right over. All right. Oh, boy. How many buns should I eat? I've got a whole table to myself. That's awesome. I couldn't have asked for a better spot than this. This is great. First bun in 34 days. I wonder if it's gonna mess me up. How, all right, how are you doing? My name's Joe. Hey, Joe. You. Have you ever been here before? Never, first okay. time. Are you by yourself? Or you I am by myself. Oh, okay, great. I, I just wanna get you that out of your way. Sure. What are you drinking? Ice cold draft beer? Oh, I'm just gonna, I would love to, but I'm just drinking water today. Would you like any lemon? Uh, no, thank you. Okay, I'll go grab that for you. The menu's gonna be right over Oh, there's the menu. Okay, great, thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys, just check out this menu at Texas Roadhouse. We got starters, we got burgers, sandwiches, kids stuff, hand-cut steaks. I think that's what I'm going to be doing today. Oh, they got prime rib. We can do a 12-ounce prime rib. We got Texas side combos, chicken specialties, country dinners. Dockside favorites. Check out these steaks. We have the eight ounce sirloin, grilled barbecue, okay, you're okay. I'm just gonna wait for her. ribeye. Mm. Oh, look at that bone in ribeye, 20 ounce. I was gonna go really piggish, but I don't think I should. What would you guys order? You wanna throw any of these appetizers in? Fried pickles? Uh, or anything like that? I just came off the carnivore diet, so oh, wow. yeah, 30, 34 days. How did that go? I lost 18 pounds you. since gen awesome. since January 1st. So it's a pretty hard diet. Ah, if you like meat, you're fine. I do well. <laughs> if you like cheese, meat, eggs, bacon, yeah. fish, you're done. You're you're good, right? So it's like you can just have like any meat. And yeah. Okay. Do so some do, do some research. Yeah. Uh, make sure you know what you're doing, and. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll give you a minute to look that over. Uh, what's the the grilled shrimp season of garlic butter? Yeah, it just comes with like five grilled shrimp and it has some garlic butter on the side. Okay, I'll start with that. That'd be fantastic, thank you. Cheers, guys. 34 days. Hmm. I did look at their website and I was really interested in their Porterhouse T-Bone. It's $34.99. It's uh, 1,040 calories smothered and I wanted to get it smothered with sauteed mushrooms and onions. You know what, I'm gonna do it with steamed broccoli. My first vegetable in 34 days. Have I mentioned I've been on a carnivore diet for 34 days? I think I have. So there it is, porterhouse T-bone, $34.99. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Which do you prefer, Texas, A1? Let me know in the comments below. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, look how soft that is. Oh, buttery like crazy. I'm not sure if we should cut this in half or just rip it in half. Let's do both. And they've got this butter. I'll ask her if there's anything special about the butter. It looks like there is. Oh my gosh, first carbs. Oh my, look at it, it's like dough. Holy cow. Super soft, freshly made, warm. It's got a bit of a sweetness to it. 
Wow. Oh, I miss Brad so much. That's incredible. It's so sweet, it should be a dessert. Let's do another one. You can barely cut it. Check that out, all buttery. I'm so sorry. That's all right. <laughs> um, are you about ready to order? Did you want a couple more? Uh, I'm gonna do that porterhouse T-bone. Okay, and how would you like that? You have to stay close. Medium, rare. Warm red center, okay, for you? M more rare than medium. Okay, and then uh, any onions, mushrooms? Definitely the mushrooms and smothered. That's what you guys call it, right? Mushrooms, yeah. yeah. And then do you want to smother it with shrimp too? Or are you already No, I'm good, I'm gonna have the shrimp. And then do you want jack cheese on top too, or just the onions? Uh, no, not jack cheese. Uh, how about uh, broccoli on the side? Broccoli, and then you Steamed broccoli. Have one more medium sketch. Can I double up the broccoli? That's probably the only thing on there that's not like coated in something. Or steamed broccoli is probably my best bet. Uh, no, I'm not. Good. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, are you? Are you? I was like, I saw your like little setup here. What's going on? Uh, I'm just. I like promoting restaurants oh, on my really? YouTube channel. Yeah. Oh, Awesome. Yeah. You'll have to write it down so I can check it out. I will let you scan yeah, my yeah, phone when you're done. Sure. Look at this thing. Mm. And what is this? Um, it's honey cinnamon butter. Honey so, cinnamon yeah, butter. Um, I don't know if you want to throw it in there. So everything that you're going to be eating today, we make in house. We make absolutely everything. That's phenomenal. Yes. Yeah. Um, so it's a honey cinnamon butter made with like honey cinnamon. We churn it. Like we make everything. In Tastes great. But yeah. the, the bun's even sweet. I know it's yeah. so good. That's why with those, I actually like them with um, regular butter. Just because it's like it evens like the salty and sweetness. Sure. The bread's like a little sweet and then like the butter is salty. But everybody loves that. Honey yeah. Butter. Thank you. <laughs> honey cinnamon. Butter. <laughs> I'm gonna push that aside for a bit. I don't know if I should eat any more of that. Check out the drinks they got here. Porch rocker. Island coolers, cocktails. Huge margaritas. Nice. Maybe one day I'll come back and do some of these margaritas. I am actually buzzing out right now because of the carbs and sugar that are in that bread. Somebody just dropped something. I'm like, mm, loopy. Fantastic. Thank you. Sure. Can I, can I try it with butter? Like a little thing of butter? Yeah. Thanks. Well, that smells really good. And check this out, ladies and gentlemen. I'm using the lemon. Squeeze, drizzle, uh-oh, seed. This is lame, so I just like that salty, sweet texture, you know what I mean? Me too. <laughs> Squeeze some more. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. I'll get that seed out of there in a second. I'm gonna try one as it is. Oh, very nice. Nice and savory, beautifully grilled. Of course, you got that lemon flavor. I'm gonna try their sauce. This is a definite must try. It's only $7.99. Same bun, grilled. It looks like it's buttered. Buttered and grilled. Of course, there's lemon on it. Which is changing it up a little bit. The shrimp are very tender, succulent. Garlicky, I'd definitely order that again. And the sauce is brilliant. It's got like a spicy, peppery bite to it. Very nice. I definitely recommend Squeezing the lemon all over it and dipping it heavily in that sauce. 
Oh my gosh, they're yes. fantastic. And what do you guys call this sauce? It's just a garlic butter. Garlic that butter? We also make in house too. And it's spicy. Yeah, yeah. we make it um, like they put all the ingredients in together and we churn it just like, yeah, we make everything in house. Awesome. Thank you. You're yeah, I'm glad I ordered that. I'm glad I ordered that, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I want to try one more bun. Yeah, I do not look forward to standing on the scale after this trip. I think I'm going to be doing about seven videos for you guys on this trip. So she recommended butter, just straight up. We're going to load her up. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Let's see if she's correct. Yep. As soon as it hit my tongue. Really nice. Like she said, this bun already has a lot of good flavors and stuff. This just adds to it. The other spread's nice too, but again, it turns it almost all of it into a complete dessert. Man, that's so good. I am freaking out on how good these are. Incredible. That's me. We are waiting on the broccoli, but can I grab you anything in the meantime? I don't believe so. Right, enjoy. Thank you. Holy shit. <laughs> 23 ounces of beef. Check out that porterhouse T-bone. Nice and charred on the edge there. Look at that juiciness. And we smothered it in onions and mushrooms. That looks fantastic. Can't wait for the broccoli. It's time to feed. Let's see if they did a good job. Oh, not bad. Check that out, guys. Pink in the center. I prefer it to be a little less done than that. That's, that's uh, not bad. You guys let me know what you think. Of course you will. Got a little mushroom, little steak. Wow. Beautiful barbecued flavor. It's got the hash marks on it. Dip it through the sauce, the juices. That is phenomenal, man. What I'm hoping for is as I get closer to the bone, it gets a little more rare. Now, would you like a porterhouse or a ribeye? Porterhouse is good, man. Everything come out okay? Oh, fantastic. Oh, look at that. All dripping with wonderfulness. I definitely picked the right place to eat today. The flavors of the mushroom and onion are just amazing. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. You're very welcome. There are our two sides of steamed broccoli. A superfood. Let's just dump those on here. There we go. One. Two. I believe this side of the porterhouse is the New York Strip, and this side is the tenderloin. Let's dig into that. Oh, yeah. A bit too big. A bit too big. Let's get some mushrooms. Piece of onion. First veggie in a while. Woo! Killer hot. I'm not sure what else they've done to it, but it's uh, kind of salty. It is very steamed. It's falling apart. Tasty. I think I'd prefer it to be uh, like just steam, nothing else. Just trying to cut it on that bone. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Look at that juicy piece of tenderloin. Is your mouth watering or what? Look at this. Flop. Yeah, that's beautiful. 
Oh my God. That's way better than that side. So tender. It is almost melting in my mouth. Oh yeah. It was funny, this side was done more than this side. This is perfect. I'm so close to being stuffed. And like I was hoping, the closer I got to the bone, the more rare it got. Way more juicier. I might have to take a time out. I also did a 10 kilometer walk today. So at the moment I've burned uh, 892 calories so far today, which is more than usual, which is good because I knew I was gonna be eating something like this. All right, guys, I'm going to polish the rest of this off, pay the bill, and then we'll hit the uh, stealth camper, set it up, excuse me, and then go to bed, maybe watch a movie. I don't know. All right, guys, I am all done. They've got this little computerized thing. Shows you how much. So there's your total, 49.23 US. And you can check your details. So you make sure your shrimp's there, your porterhouse, smothered, pay in full. I will add a 20% tip. Add, all done. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Thanks again. You have a great rest of your night. Thank you, you too. So much. They're so nice here too. This place is awesome. The parking lot's getting much more empty. There's Sam's Club. Uh, I, I just kind of had to make sure this is gonna be a safe spot to park tonight. Looks like it will be. I'm just gonna get in the driver's seat. It's a little less conspicuous. I was thinking of parking right beside this guy here. Look like one of the working vehicles, maybe. Definitely gonna plug in my electric blankets quickly. Get that going. Because I definitely don't want to be cold. AC is on. Let's go for medium. Computer bag out of my way. This will be a medium too. Just getting all the footage off my cameras into the computer. And just looked up and it is just 3 degrees. So I'm going to kick on the heater for a little bit just to get the chill out of the air you've got ignition go baby go oh that's better just need a little heat and i'll shut it off in about 15 minutes feel so much better. The heater got it up to 8.7 degrees, which is great. So that's all I need. Just enough heat in here to hit the hay and not worry about it. Definitely always take your tank off. I'm gonna put that right on the ground, let that cool down. Maybe move it away from my stuff a little bit more. All right, it is 10.20, time to watch a movie. On TikTok, I saw like a little movie clip of Jason Stanoff and he was in a movie or is in a movie called Beekeeper and it looked really good. So I think I'm gonna watch that tonight. Was there anybody who suggested that in the comments below? 
Thanks for all the suggestions of the movies that you guys want me to watch. I have taken them all into consideration. And you'll have to wait and see whose movie choices I will choose next. nice and warm once again like this pillow up against that door kind of keeps the cold from my head touch gooseneck lighting very warm Nice. Okay, Jason, entertain me. Looks like I can't watch it here in the United States. I totally forgot about that. I should have downloaded it just for this trip. Hmm, I'll have to find something else to watch. Well, decided to watch Running Man, another Arnold movie. Love every single Arnold movie out there, so let's watch that. Oh, good, I can watch it. I was worried that it wouldn't be able to watch these in the uh, United States. Da, 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 da. Arnold Schwarzenegger is the running man. If you haven't seen this movie, it's awesome. Check it out. Highly recommend it. So it's 1035. Should be done just after 12, I'm guessing. Movie's over and it is 12.40 a.m. I got to get up at uh, 7, 7.30 and then head to the airport. Uh, this is going to be a three-day, six to seven video series. I hope you guys hang out for all seven videos. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to the Buffalo Airport and then I'm flying to uh, Fort Lauderdale. So... We'll be hanging out in the airport, trying some of the restaurants or trying at least one of the restaurants. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Got to go to bed. Really tired. Still full from that steak. And it was awesome. Next time you see a Texas Roadhouse, stop by, grab yourself a Porterhouse T-Bone because it was freaking awesome.